it gives us both so much joy having the opportunity to sit ringside and call the action and reality of wrestling for as long as we have, Brad, is to see the graduation of very special athletes. And I think that certainly applies here to Roxy, who started in the reality of wrestling at age 17. Her first few matches here at the World Gym Arena, she took a Greyhound bus to get here. Tonight, she has an opportunity to leave with the Diamonds Division Championship and the keys to her future as she faces high on in the main event. Absolutely. Driving herself to the arena tonight, her new whip. She might be able to walk out with a new championship. referred to as the Renaissance woman because she has mastered the arts, the arts of professional wrestling, the arts of grappling, the arts of combat. Hyon is a five-tool player in the world of professional wrestling. She is the Diamonds Division champion. She is a three-time Diamonds Division champion. And when you talk about the Diamonds title, her name is the first that must come up. She is the standard bearer, the godmother of this division. And if Roxy is to do the impossible, she must walk through high on and end the renaissance. And that is a tall order to say the least. Absolutely, Matt Topolsky. Let's see if Roxy can rise to the challenge. To go one-on-one -on -one with high on here tonight. Perhaps the biggest opportunity she's ever had in her young career. It is like a home game for Roxy. So many friends and family making the long pilgrimage from the Valley up to the World Gym Arena here in the greater Houston Metroplex for this one. dreams come true for the 18 year old prodigy or will it be more of the same from the most dominant athlete in the history of the diamonds division since this division was founded some five years ago a myriad of athletes have held that championship only two have held it three times the other being Kylie Ray high on a different type of athlete. She can do it all. And she has made that title and this division her own. And she is cerebral on top of everything else. And you can see it right here, Brad. Slaps the taste out of the mouth of the challenge. And Roxy responds. Oh. A little bit of fire from both of them. Diamond's title is the purse in tonight's main event. What a story Roxy could author if she could capture that championship. But this young lady has a lot to learn about combat, and I'm sure Hyun is planning on teaching it to her in the next few minutes. Well, both women getting in before the count of ten. Roxy would hate to waste an opportunity and lose this match by countout. Roxy cartwheel over the top and curtsies to Hyun and follows it up with some offense of her own. Hyun a little off balance coming to the outside. Roxy trying to get this crowd fired up. Oh, under the. Second rope for the Don to the outside. There's a different look of intensity in the eyes of Roxy tonight than we've seen before. Obviously, she is aware of what is at stake and what a golden opportunity this is to springboard her professional wrestling career. Hyon might 
might be trying to get herself disqualified here. It almost looked that way for a moment. And remember, if she, if she got herself disqualified, champion's advantage, she doesn't lose the title. And look at that. Just blatant disrespect. Showing the bottom of her boot in the grill of Roxy. Let's get your opinion on this, Brad, but I, I, I'd like to think that Hai Young wants to win this matchup by pinfall or submission here tonight. There's been a lot of words between these two over the past few weeks leading up to this matchup, and Hai Young, I believe, wants to prove that Roxy is not on her level. You might be right, Matt Topolsky, but I also think that Hai Young wants to walk out the champion, and, and sometimes you, you want to walk out by any means necessary. Um, but it, it just all depends on the situation that he fi she finds herself in during the course of this match. And right now she finds herself in a very good position. Bringing the offense to Roxy, but Roxy looking for a counter roll up. Roxy, innovative pin attempt here. Ion rolls out. But then that momentum carries her right into a vicious knee telegraphed by the challenger. European uppercut in the corner. And the Renaissance right now could be taking a curve oh. ball here. A Bob knee Stanton right to corrected. Wow. You know, I said it might be an upset, Matt Topolsky. I don't feel that way anymore. Nonchalant cover there, though by Hai Yun, who's still, though, in full control of this contest. <laughs> you know, we often see young athletes on a big stage tested college football playoff. College basketball, for example, One, Red Hair for the champion in a kick out. But Roxy is 18 years old, Brad. Freshly 18 years old. Can she handle the pressure of this moment? I think that's the question, Matt Topolsky. I mean, at 18 years old, the thing I, only thing I was worried about was walking across the stage at graduation. Tonight, she's worried about winning a championship against the best that this women's division has ever had to offer in high yard. And Roxy almost, almost hulking up there, Matt. And there's a fire that burns inside this young woman. Roxy would not be in this position if it wasn't for her work ethic. Her undying desire to be the best. She is pushing high on right now, and she is pushing herself. This has been a seesaw battle for the Diamond Division Championship in a main event befitting of the blue label of professional wrestling. Roxy, oh. Russian leg sweep. Hi Young, hi Young though, man. Roxy okay. looking for that sit out DDT. And now hi Young looking beauty for sleep. some beauty sleep of her own here. Roxy the counters, Roxy counters. That was a massive counter by the challenger. That bought her new life. Roxy trying to pull her equilibrium together here. Looks like she may have done it. Hyun blocks the reversal. A reversal of her own from the champion. Roxy set now face first into the top turnbuckle. Swing and a miss. Hyun has a different ending to this story. And there it is. One, two, no! Roxy, muscle memory, or the heart of a lion, whatever it is, she wiggles out that arm, slips out the back door, and keeps this match rolling. Impressive by Roxy. The first time we have seen an athlete kick out of beauty sleep. And a stunned look painted across the face, unceremoniously, of the Diamonds Division champion, Hyun. Hyun now, though, just...
just stalking Roxy. Oh, stepping on that ankle. What's going to happen here, Matt? Got her on that top rope. I don't know what the champion is thinking right now. High on, trying to take it to the next level, rakes the back. Oh, High on looking for beauty sleep from the top rope, Brad. Oh, my God, how devastating would this be? My goodness. Oh! God! Both of these athletes pressing the self-destruct button. That has got to be all two! Her foot was on the rope. Roxy's foot on the rope. I don't think that that was intentional whatsoever. Roxy taking that beauty sleep from the top rope all the way down to the mat. And when Hyun went to hook the leg and pull back on them, Roxy's right leg, I think inadvertently landed on that bottom rope, but saving her in this match. And now Hyun telling the official to count it. Hyun exasperated. Hyun astonished. And now the count here building up to seven. now up to a count of nine. Roxy gets back in at nine and a half. The fight of Roxy is admirable, but at the same time, you almost want the mercy rule to come into play here in reality of wrestling and not allow this match to continue. I'm not even sure she has the wherewithal to know where she is right now. Oh, and Hyun looking for that 450. Hyun has done this before. I said a five-tool player, and this is one of the tools in her bag. Roxy, however. Roxy rolls to her feet like Tyson Fury in the 12th round with Wilder. Roxy, wait a second. Oh. Let's set up DDT. Roxy, center of the ring. One, two. She did it. She did it. She did it. several times tonight that Roxy was out of it. That Roxy didn't have an opportunity to come away with a win. And somehow, some way, Roxy walks out the new Diamonds champion. And Matt Topolsky, if my math is correct, she is now the youngest Diamonds champion. Scratch that. She is the youngest champion in reality of wrestling history at 18 years of age. Proof positive that if you work hard, if you're persistent, if you're consistent, if you never quit, you can achieve anything. And tonight, in front of our family, in front of our friends, in front of everyone who made the pilgrimage here to the World Gym Arena, Roxy is Diamond's Division Champion.